for the army, there will be greater disquiet because the army is going to continue to get smaller, as was decided in the 2021 review. Uh, the army uh, will will not get recapitalized much quicker than uh, towards the end of this decade. And that's been made worse by giving a lot of working equipment to Ukraine. So one of the things we're now going to be looking for is, is will the Ministry of Defense be able to buy the army more artillery and more new tanks and other equipment to make up for what it has given away? If it, if it doesn't get that sort of relief, then the army is going to bump along without much equipment and without much training probably for another couple of years. The extra five billion means that that is five billion over two years that's not having to be found from elsewhere within the defence budget, which you know, which would have been a, a possibility. However, I and and I think many people like me was really looking to see if the UK would emulate what France and Germany are doing in quickly ramping up spending on their army, navy, and, and air force in the face of the the world we now live in 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 terms of a confrontation with Russia and a and a harder relationship uh, with China, even if it's, it need not become a war. And, and really, that's, that's not happened. What the government is saying is, we're going to think about this. We try to get to 2.5% spent on defence of GDP at some point. It doesn't say when, and pushing big decisions to 2025. And, and everybody knows that means after the next general election. So I, I think all three of the armed forces are in the same boat is in that they find themselves in big handfuls at the bottom of a trajectory of more decline and hollowing out, which you can trace back for 30 years. And, and following that trajectory, as it happens, the Navy and the Air Force have fared better. They have been recapitalized with new ships and, and aircraft, but not in the numbers that they, they think they need and I support that they need and not with the resilience in terms of people and ammunition and spare parts that they want. So they'll, they're in a better place.